finally here at 430. It sounds like a plot straight out of a movie, but the Pentagon and a scientist from Harvard, they've collaborated on a new draft report that questions if we are alone in the universe. They're also trying to figure out if we've actually already seen evidence of life beyond Earth. Gotti Schwartz reports. Move over Chinese spy balloon or whatever else U.S. fighter jets shot down last month. Tonight out of Harvard University, a draft paper about mysterious flying objects sounding almost like science fiction. I think it's very likely that we are not the most intelligent civilization that ever existed. Renowned Harvard astronomer Avi Loeb teaming up with the new head of the Pentagon's UFO office dubbed the All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office. Together, they say that interstellar objects detected in space could be signs of extraterrestrial life and that current sky mapping technology like the James Webb Space Telescope could miss such objects. It could have been a mother ship that released some probes in the habitable region around the sun. If we have a visitor to our backyard, we should observe it at first. Professor Loeb now leading the charge to build better arrays of sensors to capture anomalies, but saying for now everything is hypothetical, and his paper is really meant to remind UFO hunters not to forget the laws of physics. As much as the reports from military personnel are intriguing and motivate my work right now, I want my instruments to tell me what is really happening. Meanwhile, more videos surfacing showing odd objects have been leaked to documentary UFO filmmaker Jeremy Corbell, who recently released pictures of an orb shape over Mosul and these images showing a cylinder flying over a rock. The Pentagon not commenting on the recent videos, but confirming prior videos released by Corbell had been filmed by service members. As for what they are, definitive explanations remain out of reach. Gotti Schwartz, NBC News.